Welcome to this week's edition of Inside Warwick Football on UWW-TV. I'm your host, AJ Cobert, joined by Warwick Football Head Coach, Tim Bulls. Coach, you're coming off a loss against Platteville last weekend. What does that say about the strength of the WEAC this year as there are now four teams that are 3-1 in conference play this year? We talked about it at the beginning of the year. I said I thought it was going to be one of the years where, and I've been in this league since 1990, and um, I thought it was going to be one of the toughest conferences in the history of the years I've been in it, and which has been a long time. And um, yeah, it's proof to it. And, and uh, it's the beauty of our league. And, and you got to come ready every week. You really do. And, and top to bottom, anybody can beat anyone. And, and Platteville is a very good football team. We're playing great defense, um, doing a great job of controlling the ball on the offense in the sense of not turning it over. And that was our problem, is, is giving the ball away on Saturday, is because we gave it away four times. You can't do that against anybody in our league. Sticking with the Platteville game, what positives can you draw from that game? The positives we can draw from that is our defense was outstanding. Our defense was fantastic. And our special teams um, was fantastic other than some penalties that we had on punt return. And so when I say special teams, I should really focus in on our kicking game in the sense of um, Jeff Isotola McGuire had a great day. He had all of his kicks, he had all of his PATs. We had great operations on them as well. So I mean, in our punt game, it was fantastic. Uh, Nate Custer had his best punting game of his career. And um, Nate's coming along, and, and um, the protections were awesome. So yeah, there's, there's good and bad. You, you, you know, people assume you lose a game, they think everything went wrong. Well, not really. And uh, there was a lot of things very exciting about moving forward. Looking ahead to your next opponent, UW River Falls, how do you plan on stopping their offense? They are first in points and yards per game in the WEAC this year. They're really good. They're really good. They do a great job of, one, running a tempo offense, which means it's fast. They are going to go fast. They keep their game real simple. They keep their game real simple, and, and that's a compliment. Um, some people might think that's a criticism. No, they keep the game simple and allow their players to be able to do it. The key piece is their quarterback. Their quarterback is really their key piece. His ability to be able to run the ball, um, whether it's on their orchestrated run plays or whether it's on their him scrambling, um, that's the, he, he's the key piece of their offense and his scheme. And, and so, I mean, we got to be very, we got to minimize the damage he can do on Saturday. That's going to be the key piece. And I'm excited how they, they're going to match up against a very good defense in our defense. Thanks for your time, Coach, and we'll see you next week. We'll see you then. This has been this week's edition of Inside Warrior Football on UWW-TV.